Help support the companies that support our community. I used a wire burner to create some definition and this will also help keep the dye from bleeding into the other parts of the wood. After I get done texturing them, I'm going to go ahead and use a dye pen to dye that part. This little bit here is just one of the little, uh, I think it's uh, one of those little diamond bits and I'm just going to go around both of these parts here and just create some little dimples in it to give it some texture. The dye pen I'm using is from Chromacraft. I'll have a link down below in the description, but it's just like a felt pen. You just color it on and it's nice because you can get a, the detail with it. So after I took it out of the lathe, I went ahead and rounded over both ends with the little sanding pad. So if you're going to make one of these, make it an inch longer you wouldn't have to do this whole process <laughs> that i'm about to do right here if i just added uh made it a little bit smaller i wasn't thinking the acorns were going to be you know quite that big but after i started turning them proportion wise i wanted them that size so i went ahead and just rounded them over and then used the little spur and drive center holes to drill down in it to put a dowel in it so I just grabbed some maple dowels. I'm not even sure why I stained them. After I got them stained, I thought I'm gonna glue those in. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, stained them with, I believe it's a English walnut stain and, and went ahead and just glued them in. And then I went back to the sanding pad and sanded those over. The little pinholes for me on each end was a perfect way to line it up to make sure they 
were on there, right? And because the acorns have that little nub on the bottom, the, that's why I had to do this. So the piece was nine inches. If you're gonna make one this size, make it 10 inches and then you wouldn't have to. You could actually turn that little nub on each end and just cut it off on the bandsaw. But anyway, it worked out. And then after I got done doing that, I went ahead and used the walnut die again to die just the end pieces. And the reason I did that was because I wasn't quite sure how the walnut oil was going to darken up the wood. And I wanted the, that part of the acorn a little bit darker, so that's why I went ahead and, and stained those. After the stain dries, then you go ahead and draw a line, diagonal line across it. Just kind of line that up and cut it in half on the bandsaw. I would use a thicker blade. It's much easier to keep it, keep a straight line and you want those fairly straight. And then after I got it cut in half, I went ahead and put the sanding disc on the lathe and went ahead and flattened the, that side of it off. And that's really, I had already sanded all, all the other sides as I was doing it, so all you have to do is clean this up, and this disc on that is 80 grit. So just get those saw marks out of there. And then I went ahead and put the sanding pad back on with uh, 120, and just rounded over the sharp edge on it, just kind of cleaned up the scratches from that, and rounded over the, the point, and then just hand sand, finished hand sanding up to 240. After I got them sanded, I went ahead and finished them off with the Dr's Walnut Oil. Looking at them now, the color is really close from the, the end there where I dyed it. So I probably didn't need to do that, but it was a fun project. Uh, you get two of them, and it if you didn't do the embellishment, it's probably about a half an hour project. But it was really fun. This is the first time I've actually ever made door stops. And I know you probably see a lot of people do them. Uh, Tim Yoder did some a while back, and uh, Peter Brown did some years ago. But it was really fun. Uh, Robin found some online. She fell in love with the acorn. That's why I did, did that. If I was going to do them again, though, I think they're a little bit big. So I used two inch when I cut the block up. It was two by two. And I would probably go inch and a half, make them a little, little smaller, a little uh, less, you know, little lower profile on them, and then that way everything would, you know, the acorns would adjust. You just adjust the size for it. But fun project, yeah. If I would have just gone a little bit longer, I wouldn't have had to do that whole process with the dowels and drilling it in there. But oh well, it worked out. All right, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit the subscribe button and like button, and don't forget to ring the bell and be notified every time we have a video. And I mentioned, I think earlier in the video, I have links in the description to all the tools and everything I use, so go check that out. All right, have a great day.